I think the thing that amazes me in society is, and we have conspiracy theories about this particular stuff, but just how all the major corporations are just, it's amazing how they're all just kind of working to suppress particular things and stuff Mm -hmm. like that and then push other things. And so we get on here, we get frustrated, and this is part of our frustration. And this is honestly why we might not be on much longer, believe it or not. I know it's hard to believe since we have so many followers. We have a huge following. Yeah. But it's part of us not having a huge following is because of what these corporations do. Mm Mm-hmm. And YouTube sits there and are, are, this, just do this. And you, you may already know this. Just go and look up something on your browser in Google mm-hmm. and see what publications come up. And I can go ahead and tell you, no matter what you look up, especially if it's a political story, look up Donald Trump. And what you're going to see, I think my stomach's growling. Can you hear that over the thing? I don't know. I could. No. Okay. Look up Donald knows. Trump and then just look at it. If you don't believe me, do it. Here's what you're going to see. You're going to see the Washington Post, the New York Times, the Daily Beast, Vox, CNN, CNN, NBC News, CBS, and you're not going to see the Daily Caller, the Gateway Pundit. You're going to have to look for those mm-hmm. people. You might see Fox if they're being liberal. Right. It's true. <laughs> but even if it's a – I'll put Fox there because it gets people to, to look. Mm-hmm. But even if it's, uh, I would say, okay, like uh, the Daily Wire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is not going to be on no. their front page, even though Daily Wire is probably together bigger than all those those mm. particular no, people. Agree, even yeah. if it's a small liberal publication, it's going to be on their front page because they're pushing the narrative. So what happens is we get on here, and we realize that when we do videos, we have to talk about things that are trendy. Yeah, because if you don't, we don't want to talk about it. Mm-hmm. And uh, honestly, we don't want to. We're like, we want to talk about Christian things. We want to talk about uh, theology. We want to talk about scripture. We want to talk about these particular things. We want to talk about cars or video games. We want to talk about cars, cigars, video games. We want to talk about those, but no, but because YouTube does such a job of, unless it's absolutely 100% trending, YouTube will not promote you unless you're a left wing Mm -hmm. progressive site. Mm -hmm. They won't. Winger got big. Winger's probably bigger than, you know, he actually is. I mean, if you think about it, where free speech society, Winger is Mike Winger, who does the the Bible thinker. What is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, would be, I would say, bigger than he actually is. Mm-hmm. Well, if you look at just just for instance, uh, this doesn't really go along with that 100, percent but it shows you that YouTube can be bought. The new game marathon coming out. A gay marathon. No, the new game marathon. Oh. Uh, there might be a gay marathon. They probably do that now. It's gonna. Uh, I can't hear. So see, well. it's so bad. It's gonna now feel like a gay marathon time, here pretty yeah. soon because it's Pride Month. But the new game marathon. There you go. Coming out. Okay. The the if you go to the PlayStation's YouTube, okay, has three million views. Okay. If you go to Marathon's actual, web, their actual site to watch the preview or the game pl- play or whatever, it's got eighteen million. With 700 likes and like 40 comments. Mm. So something ain't 18 right. 18 million there. people watched it. 18 and million 40 people comments. like it, and only 700 people liked it, and there's only like 40 something comments. Actually, Dr. Disrespect was talking about it. So yeah. Talking about something's not right here. Yeah. And especially when the PlayStation, the, you know, the actual PlayStation site actually got. Three million views, especially since PlayStation owns uh, Marathon. Mm-hmm. They own so, Bungie. Right. So I mean, just just small examples like that. They either bought their views or something. Somehow something got manipulated to where it showed they had all these. Views. Oh, I'm sure that like when Barack Obama or Joe Biden's in there and they want to push something, all they got to do is just call Google and say mm-hmm. we want this pushed. And don't mm-hmm. think they don't do that. Don't think they have. Oh, we have this breaking news story. Hey, and they get on the phone, they call, we want you to push this story. Mm-hmm. They do. Or we're going to put this video out, and, and sometimes they can't get to it, and the ratios are really bad on it. But, you know, we want you to put this video out, and we want you to give it 15 million likes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's not just YouTube And Google either. just does, okay, there it you is. You can see a video on Facebook, and you, you'll see down in the corner, 20,000 people watching right now, 5 million views, 7 comments. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> yeah. Only seven people had something to say but about it. But they do this yeah. to manipulate people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and we've talked about this before. 
And, and I don't, uh, this is one of the things that amazes me that people don't get. If you don't think there's principalities and powers who sit around large tables and make these decisions on how they're going to do this and how they're going to influence people, uh, you, you look at. Starts with an I. Illuminati. <laughs> Oh no! Because, oh, you can't say that. Uh, well, because, I didn't uh, say it. He did. No, he. I know. I know. But now. there's like there's members of the Illuminati who are not smart enough to be members of the Illuminati. <laughs> I, I'm gonna tell you that right now. But I'll, for example, you, you look at you, you look at three things. You look at the gay movement. You look at abortion. And you look at the trans movement. All those things. Here's my conspiracy theory. All those things are linked to population. It's about population control. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Abortion. Here, put your tinfoil hats on. Abortion is population control. Mm-hmm. Gay and lesbians not reproducing. Mm-hmm. Trans people not reproducing. Yeah, because they're cutting their stuff off. Right. So it's about overpopulation. Mm-hmm. So they push. They they're pushing this. They're not pushing it because of the gay agenda. They're pushing it because of overpopulation, because these people are zealots. It's a religion, and they're zealots, and zealots will kill people for their religion. Mm-hmm. And so that's what you see. So they're working. They sit around and they work to influence this stuff. It's amazing that Donald Trump got elected in the first place. I, I what my my theory on that is is that they they they, they knew within a hundred percent shadow of a doubt that they knew Hillary was going to win because if you watched the news that day in the in, on election day somebody messed up early in the morning Donald Trump twelve percent chance so they didn't think they had to do anything because they yeah, thought we got this exactly and then at five o'clock when the working man got off and went down and voted <laughs> that's they're right. like oh uh oh, oh something, and it's too late by then. Once those numbers started rising, there was nothing they could do because if they did something, then that would have really got the attention called. Yep. I think so. That's that's my belief. And so when the when the them. next event takes place where we have two people who run against one another and mm-hmm. we actually go to this place to cast a ballot for them, I can't even say it. Mm-hmm. I can't even say it because the freaking godforsaken algorithm is uh-huh. looking. Yep. Looking and for listening. the words, huh? And listening. And listening. Yeah. Those, what was I doing? I was, we were talking about something the other day in the lake house, and I'm walking by, and Alexis starts talking to me. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't get that. <laughs> You're listening? Yeah, I was like, I wasn't talking to you. Yep. And so, uh, see, you got me off but but, but but train of thought here. I'm getting old, man. I can't do this stuff anymore. But I think in the next election, what happened was they, they I said the word, crap. <laughs> and they sat there and they said, we got to do something. Yeah. And oh, they absolutely. did something. Mm-hmm. Whatever they did, I'm sure it was fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm just I, mean, that, that rolls I'm right why in. I don't care anymore. It's like. Yeah. That rolls into exactly what we're, we're going to talk about in the show is that there, there's just things we can't talk about. Things that won't get popular. There's things we can't say. We got Christian content creators that won't even use people's names. Yeah. In their in their right. act, in their you can't. in their script because that name they is were, getting they were they were having that one guy was uh, the guy saying was, Matt Walsh's name he was saying Walsh Shea Walsh he wouldn't even say Matt yeah. Walsh yeah because he was talk- that, uh, if you're not familiar with this is how it works mm-hmm. and the algorithm looks for particular keywords and depending on the source of those words so if it's an article from the Daily Beast that is slamming Matt Walsh they're going to promote it mm-hmm. and if it's from something from us talking about Matt Walsh they're going to to squash it yep. Yeah, because we came in and we did we we had a role there where we were doing some videos good for us, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden we did one on DeSantis, and it was like it got squashed. It got squashed bad. DeSantis Twitter, yeah, right, yeah. because the algorithm is looking, and people just don't they're not in tune with this stuff, and I get that. I mean, but they just don't know that Facebook is influencing. They're trying to influence what you what you believe and what you say mm-hmm. and what you do and all this stuff. And when you get to the point where we're so handcuffed every single week when we come in here because there's, we know there's certain things we can't talk about. If you don't top, talk about the top 10 trending things, yeah. and that's you're going to get right. moved we to do, the bottom. We don't want to be trendy, right? But we want to be able to talk about topics we want to talk about. And get our and word, people and yeah, be, get the word out. And people be influenced by that or, or get something out of that. And we can't unless we talk about topics that everybody else is talking about a lot of the christian youtubers right now are one of the guys i watch it's like i'm i'm done he goes i just hit a million subscribers and i don't want to do this anymore yeah he goes i you guys only watch the videos where i commentate about worldly things that i don't want to talk about but, but and then i not, talk about and something that's the way the, i feel but once yeah. again it's not the the people so much 
yeah. just watching it. It's yeah. what YouTube is putting on those people's pages. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, we might put a video out talking about cars that never hits any anybody's thing. Right. Because it's not relevant. It's not being published. Yeah, we tag Crowder in something, or we talk about Crowder being a jerk. We got a whole bunch of people that don't like us. Yeah. <laughs> And I think, and a lot of people have been, a lot of Christians have been turned off by the content that's been coming out from Christian content creators because yeah. a lot of it's been crap. And, and, and I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, it all and started. Not just, and fake, and a bunch of fake goody two shoes kind and, of guys. And that's kind of why I was kind of hard on Mike Winger back because there are Christian creators that are more popular than him, but they are taking worldly topics and going, yeah. I'm giving you a, a Christian but perspective. But he does too. He did then. That's, that's why I was kind of hard on him because he didn't really do that before. He yeah. talked about theology and biblical stuff, and then he he jumped on Crowder there, and it, and for whatever reason that that's that's a whole different video. But it, like you're saying, he's he's probably more popular than he is because he didn't he didn't stick to that stuff, mm -hmm. and, and other creators are they're they're yeah, chasing numbers and chasing if, topics. If Winger yeah. would like every week come out and talk about the trending stuff. Yeah, he probably have blowed way up. He'd probably yeah. be way bigger than he is now. It just it just uh, you know. Mm -hmm. We've been doing this off and on for a couple of years, and I'm just kind of to the point to where I want to talk about what I, because we sit around every night after church. But we sit around. I know we probably drive everybody else crazy at this place, but after church when we sit and we have our meal, we sit around and we talk about stuff that's interesting to, mm -hmm. to us. And then we come here and we get on our podcast and what? we talk about we talk about godly things. We talk about guy things. We talk about all those particular things. And it's like I can't talk about that. I got to talk about this thing that's trendy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if we don't, we won't get any views. Mm -hmm. And we won't build an audience. And if we don't get the views on that junk, they'll never stick they'll around never for the stick stuff we want to talk about. Right, yeah. because it won't be put in their feed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They won't see this stuff. And I know people are too busy to be looking out and see what the Brolition yeah. is doing. And so, but Weger had this thing here where, I don't know, you explain it. You, you explain this apparatus here. I don't in, know. My, in my opinion, this is, this is when the decline of YouTube really started to hit hard. When they came out and they took the dislike ratios off of the page, they took the button off. Yeah. They took the button off. Well, you can hit the button. It doesn't You'd show the you the button, number because the ratios of all the crap they were putting because, up. Because well, you had a bunch of people that were getting their feelings hurt because, every time our current administration would post a video. It yeah, would be negative, uh -huh. bombed. So <laughs> when they did that, in my yeah. opinion, that's when YouTube started to go downhill mm -hmm. for whatever reason. They changed not just that; they changed a bunch of stuff that went with it. Yeah, and that's when it really started killing yeah. YouTube. Well, explain these numbers, Jerry. Well, well, and then you've got a an extension for Google Chrome that now, until until I read this, I thought was doing an accurate job of mm -hmm. guessing what the dislikes are because people we get can a hit lot the, of dislikes because people can hit the I can I I can see accurate dislikes, but so people like when you hit the down the thumbs down button, right? It's it's a strike, but it doesn't show beneath the video anymore. So we've got this Google extension that has apparently turned this feature back on to show how disliked people are. But his little experiment here about 10 of his probably not so, not his most popular videos looking at these likes, um, it is predicting nearly five times the amount of dislikes than what are, are in reality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he's got 41. So what's it using to predict that? I don't know. And how, how's it getting five, a factor of five off? Because this is a video that got 12 dislikes, and this Google extension says, oh, it's got 41 thumbs down. So well, it I mean, actually shows 41 mm -hmm. thumbs down on the, the thing. On, on the extension, yeah. That but then you the go button. to number five, and it shows 45 dislikes oh, that's to a yeah. realistic 202. Yeah. But then you go to the bottom, and it shows 506 to 134. Yeah. I, I bet so, you number five was was – an issue that he was talking about that was almost supportive of a particular position. Mm. No, that could have been. And, uh, or they perceived it to be that way. And Google says, well, you're only going to get this to be dislikes. But the Christian, conservative Christians who watch this channel were like, we have a problem with what you're talking about here. Mm, that okay. could have been the Crowder thing. That, that might have been. You don't know what? That probably was a Crowder thing. This was before the Crowder thing. Oh, this was before that? Yeah. But I mean, like I said, it, it's all over the board there. Most of most of the time, it's predicting. But it's never anywhere close to accurate. No, not anywhere. Uh, well, I guess this is just a double in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. Right. So Google is saying oh, you're going to you're close. getting number like number ten. Google is actually showing him he got five hundred six dislikes. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Reality That's, is in the middle. Yeah, hundred thirty four. So here he PCs. got. Uh, but a Google large... is saying. But Google is on the, the page where the video is, is saying you got 560 So if I log the extension, in yeah. and watch that bottom video, 
Yeah. I'm going to see 506 dislikes. Where there was only 134. Where he only had 134 Why would dislikes. they do that? I, I, I wonder if it's just a, since it is an extension, is yeah. a browser extension, we don't know how it gets its dislikes. We don't, I, I don't know. That, that's a good question. There's a lot of nefarious stuff that's taking place uh, out there. Mm-hmm. A lot of stuff that should scare the crap out of you. Your phones are nothing but a portable tracking device. Oh yeah, that's why. That's why when everybody's like, well, you've, oh. got, "You've got an Amazon Alexa in your house," I can't believe it. You've got wiretap in your house, and I'm like, "You've got a wiretap on you 24 yeah, 7 Yeah, it's listening every time. So yeah. what? What does it matter at this yeah. point? And this is his last ten videos, ending April 28th. The Crowder stuff may have been in there somewhere. Yeah, that could his be last, there. his most recent ten videos. Somebody using the return YouTube dislike extension. Mm-hmm. So, but like, I don't know if he posted a video about the Crowder thing, or that was just a tweet or a comment. That was a tweet, wasn't it? It wasn't actual video, right? Yeah, right. It was a tweet. Yeah. This is this is all this stuff is scary to me, and I honestly, we enjoy. Oh, see, look at his concern here. Why don't I just do this my experiment myself? Because I think that signing up for those services may give them access to my numbers and make them very accurate about channels from participating users. Hmm. He wants to know how accurate they are with non-participating users. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Hmm. This stuff, everything that's taking place within this world right now just scares me to death. Mm-hmm. That all these uh, these forces, the Patriot Act, the Patriot, Patriot Act which was enacted after 9-11, where they started giving everybody, the government, access we, to all your cell phones. We applauded we, that. We lined up for that. And I remember. We lined up They for talked that. about it in one of the Star Wars movies. Yep. And she sat in there and she said, this is how, what did she say? This is how democracy ends with the sound of thunderous applause. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was, and I was, was I was mad about that. Yep. But okay. now you look back on it, you're going like. Right. It was right. <laughs> we, after 9-11, we, we fully accepted. We're like, yes, please do this. Make we gave safe. up all of our Ooh. rights, all of our privacy. So, you know, they so can catch the bad guys. Yeah. 9-11 conspiracy episode. Oh, yeah, we ought to do that because we all know where we stand. Nobody watch that. it. No, YouTube will take that down. There, are, there were so many reasons for 9-11 to have happened, mm-hmm. and that right there is one of them. Yep. Oh, I just I actually watched, uh, I, don't, I don't know how I got into it, you know, the YouTube black hole, but somebody was talking. When we say YouTube black hole, that's when you get under, you're just going to watch one video. And, and it suggests another six one. hours later. It's, it's it's like sun sun starting to come up, and you're like, "What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? Where am I? What year is it? Yeah, uh, they're very good at that. They're very mm-hmm. good at that. But the, the guy was, the guy was had they had a video of a guy who called in the day after, and was talking to a talk show, and he was talking about him being there and all that stuff, and and just how in the world was FBI FEMA already there, mm-hmm. and not just. Not there, just regular guys. But. There's so many holes in that story. Yeah, there. Yeah. I'm. I we could. I could be here all. And he's night. just telling the story. He doesn't know anything. He's just telling the story. And he was like, "Yeah." The, the cop said, "You got to get out of this building." He says, "Why?" Because because it's going to it's going to come down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it hadn't been hit. Right. right. You're yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, building it, seven or whatever. Well, he now, he said, "No, the one had been hit," but he oh, was okay. just like. You know, it's just these buildings, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're built to withstand, yeah, actually to withstand this stuff, believe uh, it or not. Uh-huh. Earthquakes and things like that. And the guy was like, it's going to come down. Well, Building 7 came down, too. Building 7 came down. The two, got the, two of the survivors that were in it heard explosions yeah. inside the building before it came down. Building 7, when it fell, was the only steel-constructed building in history to be taken down by fire. Mm-hmm. It's <laughs> there's questions, so, man. So there All right, that's a different be, episode. There used to be a documentary on YouTube called it's called Loose, Loose Change. Change. Watch it. Is it still on YouTube? No, Have but you can find it. it. You can find it. Loose it, Change. It is called Loose Change. If you get an opportunity, you watch that. And if that, that does it, black hole down. If that <laughs> doesn't, just open your eyes because they don't go over one thing that happened. They went over the whole yeah, thing, the whole days and previous the and previous days the leading previous up to stuff it. stuff and what was happening. And we were. Uh, you know, the, the Pentagon, apparently there was, I don't know if it was that documentary or another one, we were we were missing $7 trillion, and then the Pentagon gets hit. And, oh, uh, you know what part of the Pentagon got hit? <laughs> the part <laughs> storing all your information for that. Wasn't that, that's odd. We got that, Oklahoma City bombing. 
Oh, yeah. There's a lot more stuff. See, these are things we want to talk about, but can't nobody listen to. Well, the shooting that happened. Well, they wouldn't. They they would, and it wouldn't get put in front of them. Yeah. The shooting right. that happened in Las Vegas. Whatever happened to Whatever that? Whatever happened to that? Yeah. That oh, just man. That fell off the map. It was. We're gonna take your guns. We're gonna. Uh oh. People were starting. Whoop. They don't even Hush. talk about that as nope. far as a gun issue Hush. anymore. That only lasted a couple hours. Yeah. It seemed like. Hush. Yeah. yeah. That's gone. Yeah. There's so your government is out there doing so much stuff. You don't even you're not oh, even aware it's, of. It's Vietnam it's War was started off basically off stuff. They just yep. made that. They you know, made that Gulf up. of Tonkin. They just made it. Yep. You know, fabricated story. Yep. Did you get shot at? No. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. They've got that. Uh, they've got all this stuff. It, the movie, uh, not JFK, but well, I don't want to be able to start on that either. Oh my gosh. That. I remember walking out of the theater after seeing that movie. And that, I think that's where I started my dark descent and not trusting the government at all. My, I remember my grandpa sitting when he watched the JFK assassination happen. And he was he was sitting there, and he, years, obviously years later, talking to me about it. And he was talking about how, you know, it something wasn't right. Hmm. He goes, I felt it in my gut then. Something ain't right. Because JFK was going after, he was going after the establishment. Yeah, but. He was going after the mafia. Who was probably he'd be a Republican today. Oh yeah, he would have been. He was the last. He was probably one of the last great, true, yeah. Democrats, actual good Democrat. And, and honestly, I just watch the movie. I don't know. It, Oliver Stone usually is really good about research and all that stuff. And then they actually, you know, they're doing the trial and they talk about the magic bullet. How they go, the bullet mm-hmm. went this way and then went this way and then went this way and then went this way. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm just like, good gosh, man. Oh well, we're done. For real, probably. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> if we're not on next week. Oh, well, you're on vacation. Oh, no. No one will know. Two weeks if we're not on. You no know what happened know. to us. 